Hello everybody, this is going to be my playthrough for Life is Strange. Starting with number one, of course. I, um, I had a few fuck-ups actually getting this game. Um, first I was going to do Resident Evil 7. Um, oh, there's no main menu? Uh -huh. First I was going to do Resident Evil 7, because, uh, I did a playthrough on that recently, and two DLC just came out for it called Not a Hero and End of Zoe. I was going to do End of Zoe, until I realized that that game sucks. And so then I was going to do this game, but I downloaded Before the Storm first. And I, d and I got through two parts of both of those games before I, realized, before I was informed that I fucked up again. So hopefully this time will be different. But I digress anyway. So. This game I have never seen or played, but I have read a brief. I, well, I skimmed through a brief synopsis on the internet, and so if you haven't seen this game already, which I haven't, then um, if you've ever seen the movie The Butterfly Effect, apparently that's how this game pretty much works. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh. Help with options. There's no how to play. Then again, I'm, I'm going to assume it's the same kind of playing as the Before the Storm. Because Before the Storm was basically a Telltale game. One thing I gotta say though, honestly, is that I like the soundtrack so far from Before the Storm better than this one. This is definitely starting off more dramatic, way more dramatic than before the storm. I don't know who this new girl is, but before the storm, you plays a girl named Chloe, and I love her like smart ass comments and remarks so much. But but this game is actually one that has time travel, which is where that one didn't seem to have it. I was actually beginning to wonder where that one where the time travel was. So I realized I was playing the wrong damn game. Which sucks. But now I'm on the right side. I think. I hope. Holy shit. Holy shit is right. That motherfucker's an F5 probably. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces uh, of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <gasps> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. 
Seriously, though, yet, I could frame no. any one of you in a dark corner. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Any one of you could do that but to me. Bro, this, I like it old school. <laughs> bro, this reminds me of Isn't me in class. You're like the, 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 the dudes all teaching. I'm just sitting here thinking to myself. What about if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty? If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? I don't know if any of this is Canada's story. October 1st, my favorite month of best leather, whatever, do, 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 still too damn hot. October country, won't read much by him. Okay, at least I'm trying to tune my cocoon. Got a Halloween party coming up. Got the Blackwell Academy. I'm not reading this right now like I did the other one, like I did on my other playthroughs, like Evil Within and all that in Resident Evil 7, because this is a lot to read, so I'm just skimming it. That's a lot. I'm actually not going to your innocence. Right she had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I agree, actually. I think it's a Of course, word. as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. I could assume it was late 1800s, actually, but then the again... The point remains pressure. that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, damn it. Uh, I'm gonna choose the dumb one. Wait, no, I'm gonna choose this one. You're asking me? L let me think. Um, you either know <laughs> this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. And you're a snob. Very bitch. good, Victoria. Congratulations. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self portrait was done by Robert hmm. Cornelius. Look at this crap. Oh, no, I already looked at How that. can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? In your textbook. I can hear the class laughing at me now. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> Kind of funny though. I could have sworn photography was invented in the 1860s and movies were invented in the 1880s, but then again, maybe Victoria I was doesn't waste wrong. a second kissing ass. I could tell. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Okay, so fuck them. Why do you care about their opinions? Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. No shit, she's a snob bitch. She, um, you can't tell. I should have known. Kind of She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Blackwell? Actually, wasn't that a thing from uh, before the storm? Then again, this is the same universe. Product with all the speed and power expected from the new greenlit that is packed with uh, expanded features. <laughs> No Six. Damn, dude. Fuck. Just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody well, she's not exactly humble, so I mean, I take it back. I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera. I am. Everybody should have oh, that totally. shit. Oh, totally. I only want to share whatever. Yeah, this this is very similar to Before the Storm as far as uh, gameplay goes. Oh, it's still Victoria. Oh, I'm gonna get to talk to her. Every time not. I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. She's not. Only 
Well, sometimes, but This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Well, do you have a crush on him or some shit? Actually, no, Mr. Jefferson actually... No, that's not true. I was about to he say he dresses better than, like, most of my professors in college, but no, he doesn't. Then again, I'm assuming this is high school. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Oh, and that was the one I was embarrassed of, isn't it? I'm gonna make an excuse. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? Is she but you do knowing? have a gift. You have the fever to take images. To frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. No, what if my gift is a piece of shit? Gift wrap, huh? Not exactly the best lesson in the fucking world, if you ask me. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. And just like it before the storm, the pictures all look like paintings. Let's see. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. <laughs> Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Well, I don't think there's anything else I can do here, except for maybe grab this. Whoa, oh, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine grand digital images. But I still this? take my little instant camera. 20 grand for this. I don't know, I, like, like I, beyond the history of it, I don't know the actual workings of, like, photography and stuff like that. But, dude, I can tell you right now, if you spent 20 grand on that, holy shit, that must be your biggest passion in life. Because, that, dude, that's like a new car right there. God damn. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying you always Welcome to the cute. real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Well, a cheap new car, but still a new car. Yep, high school. He plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. Oh, nice. I like this. Episode 1, Chrysalis. Missing persons. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Who is it? Rachel. Oh, oh shit! Rachel Amber was in Before the Storm. But I didn't know who the fuck she was in that game, but I guess she was. American girls, I'd like to. Be part of the world Is that my locker? I hate having everybody see inside my locker. Driving a car by the seaside. Actually, let's go take the fuck up take a look. The world from the I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. That's it? Okay. Sorry, but I don't care about any of you pricks. To all of you, American girls in the movie. Is that still Rachel Amber? Like she's yeah. been gone for months. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar drops out. <laughs> sugar machine? Dude, look at these pictures. You got healthy shit. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Wait. Is that a soda machine? Dude, like, when I was in high school, bro, we didn't have soda machines. We had, uh, we just had Gatorade machines. Because when I was in high school, there was a state law passed where I lived that, um, 
Like when it came to actual schools, like middle and high schools, um, they weren't allowed to sell us like anything like Snickers or like Coca-Cola in like a vending machine. It had to be like a like a Lay's chips or like a Gatorade. And it sucks. They passed that state law literally the year I started high school. When I was in eighth grade, they didn't have that law. Because apparently they thought we were a bunch of fat fucks. And actually they weren't really all that long. Except for me, because I'm not a fat fuck. These missing persons posters are popping it's up all Amber, bro. Oh, right, here's a no one could dry her fountain. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. You know, it's empty. There could be someone hiding in the stall. <clears throat> I wouldn't start crying just yet. I'd make sure nobody's in the stall or some shit. Look at that. This one's closed. Now, who would bother to write that crap? What is it? Rachel Amber is a bitch. Ow. Oh. Well, I guess it's time to uh, initiate this meltdown. Dude, this bathroom looks like a piece of shit compared Just to the bathroom. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Might want to throw that away instead of just leaving it on the floor. Ooh, when a door butterfly closes, effect. A window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. You know, I'll be damned if this game has more the butterfly effect in it than Until Dawn, the game that was ex specifically about the butterfly effect. When does this year game, game take place? What the fuck are you doing in here? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. What the hell? You a terrorist? Are you? Bougie? So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now. Let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing Ooh. around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Ooh. And that, ladies and gentlemen... Actually, I could've got, couldn't could have just gone off again. Whoa. What the fuck? Ooh. How, how can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. Well, she was antagonizing him. And then I was back here. Yes, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. Oh, now it can look And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her oh. images of Ooh, I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human time machine. Bro. Anybody? Bueller. Max, 
Don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep images it together, of Max. Let me do this again. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I resist. The point can I save her? The portraiture has always been a, a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please... Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. So let's get the fuck out of the here. The process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Detail in people's faces. Bro. <laughs> Well, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation... The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you I actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. What? Because I answered hey one question? Hey guys, don't forget question. the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. So I can rewind time whenever I want. It's actually pretty badass. Yes. Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Son of a bitch. I'd never let one of photography's... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take <laughs> a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the- Excuse right, me, on. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's- I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Bro, dude, my fucking poetry professor was just like that. Um, like, all you had to do was, like, give him a quote from somebody he liked. I hope I have to get to the bathroom. And it would please, be great. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think but, I'm crazy. Oh, right. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. That's fantastic. But right now, I'm trying to save this bitch girl from being murdered by this... Psycho. You know I don't I hate that song. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the 
butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Wow, sir, it's happening again. I need a hammer to break it open. In hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would uh. ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Fuck! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. What to do? I'm so sick of people trying. We're going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Damn it! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so... To control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. There we go. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak! I need to be quicker on my fucking... Another feet. shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What oh. the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the I was the taking bathroom. it. I was on my period. Girls asshole. always use that excuse. <gasps> excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. By the way, that bastard in the security hat is actually Chloe's step, soon to be stepdad and before the storm. Thank you for... You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. No, I can't. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Only if you consider some. Only if you consider somebody, um, me saving somebody from murder for being wrong. Then I guess I did. If you don't, then I guess not. I'm gonna report me. Wait, how is it? Wait, 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 wait. I, I'm kind of confused though, because it's saying report Nathan or hide the truth. But if I report Nathan, then like, am I just gonna go ahead and say, hey, you know, Nathan tried to shoot that chick and you know, kill her? Or should I go ahead and say, or, or like, would I reveal all the time shit too? Fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the. I don't. It doesn't matter, you know. To me, it doesn't matter if he thinks I'm crazy. Like, it, 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 fuck it, I know what I'm gonna do. Report Nathan. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. Yeah. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is... A serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything, since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? I 
think I should. You look a little stressed out. See, I don't know though, cause like, I could report Nathan, but like it doesn't really. I'm gonna try to report Nathan again, cause I really want him to go down. But like, I don't know if she would change her answer, but I'm gonna try anyway. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a. You know what? Fuck it. I don't care. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep it as that, honestly, because like I I did my job. I reported him. If he decides to be a prick and not take anything on that, then that's on him and not me. I did my job. Uh. Don't wander around here. Get on outside. Fine, ass wipe. <clears throat> Although I, should, oh no, no, it's actually a good idea that didn't happen. I was gonna say maybe you should have told her, told him that you know she, he was gonna murder that girl, but nah. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Rachel Amber, she looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Oh, I swear to fuck, whatever your name was, black dude in the suit, I don't remember who you are anymore, the principal or some shit. But I swear to fuck, bro, you better not mention me by name. Because that's some serious shit. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? Um... He's aloof. He seems like he's always above you. Not like a snob, but like you don't know what's in his head. Maybe. Mr. Jefferson just has his own style. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> now that you mention it, fuck it. Now that you mention it, he doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. <laughs> you have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. You well, know that. I heard that from a good source. Good source, my ass. Sounds like a so bullshit rumor to me. You knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Yeah, once again, rumors that you shouldn't be spreading. Oh. Let me go up. Coffee after school, and an excuse to not study. So basically, he's asking him on a date, I guess. Make sure you check ne the. What the fuck ever. Wait, how many messages did you send? Bro. You okay, sent, like, I better six get to messages. my dorm and grab that flash drive. You sent me like six messages, bro. Oh, this is 2013. I still had that old fashioned ass camera, dude. My iPhone probably has a better camera than that little thing she was using. My first entry from my new dorm room the night before my. F Ooh, actually, this is probably important. I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. Uh, my shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine. Never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate a whole place. Do, 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 do. Some of my doom rates, but though I suck at remembering names, so. Black will success. Always, I don't care. I lost interest. Mm. This guy might be, uh... Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Well, why not? Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You oh, okay, a you're question. a pretentious prick. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? No, I'm not even interested. 
Oh, I have to respond. I was just gonna say nope. Never mind. I don't even care. Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images, but you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. And you should know the difference between being a decent person and being a pretentious snob. I lost interest the moment you gave me that bullshit question. So where the hell is the dorms anyway? Or oh, are they over here? And I am making this first part longer than normal, because one thing I'm going to start doing is I think I'm going to start making the first part longer than normal since it is the first part. Uh, okay, I, I, I guess can I, I guess I can't. I'm looking around, just like kind of looking at shit and also kind of looking for where the dorm room is at. And that's still Rachel Amber, because she's the only person who's missing on this campus, apparently. <clears throat> Then again, I hope she is actually. Or do I just go back into school? Like, where the, where's the damn dorm rooms? I already talked to Stella a little bit. I can't even go over there. I, I'm just gonna go back into school. Miss Grant, can I talk to you? Like, hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss uh, Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure. What is it? Sure. I always have time for you. What's the petition? Apparently she's awesome. David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. <laughs> oh, that is true. That could have helped Rachel. Here's the thing though. While that could have technically helped Rachel, I'm still against it simply because I, I saw David Manson in Before the Storm and that guy is a creepy bastard, so I'm, um, nope. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. You, you do realize I basically just agreed to sign your damn petition, so why are you giving me a lecture? You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you I'm homework with this lecture, I don't care. will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Yes, I'll sign. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Shit. Oh, uh, well, David Manson will be upset with me? Well, fuck him. <clears throat> that guy's a prick. Look, the main character before the storm's name is Chloe. And uh, she hated him. But, like, I, I thought initially that it was because, you know, um, her dad just left and all that shit. He was trying to replace, you know, be the new dad figure. But, you know, now that I know his personality more... I don't want to go that way. He's just a prick. Is there anything else I could do around here or no? Nothing that I really care to, anyway. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I didn't know you had a drone, but I don't care if it's illegal or not. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons, and this is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? I actually do. Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. And another pretentious smartass. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. I 
I don't even care to fly that damn drone. Swimming pool. What else kind of other kind of stuff can do around here? Right, okay, so now my big thing is to go to the uh, dorm room. I'm gonna do that now. What's oh, up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. Uh, no. I'd rather not, Daniel. Not that I don't want you to. Never mind. I guess you would be too ashamed. Now, I have to get back to my drawing. Did I say Shane did anything to do about it? No, I didn't. Because it doesn't have anything to do with it. I just kinda, I'm kinda crunched for time. Yes, go to the dormitories. <clears throat> Sorry if that took a little bit longer than you would have liked. Come on, yeah. Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah! I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. And now that I'm here, allow me to say this as number one. Hmm. Yeah. 